What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix the file is too large for the destination file system. So if you've got an external drive or USB flash drive plugged into your system and you're trying to copy data across just like I'm going to show you here and you're running into an issue then I'm going to show you how to quickly resolve this problem. So let me paste this over here and you can see it's saying uh, the file and the file name is too large for the destination file system and you will get that problem no matter you drag and drop or copy and paste and the solution to this is pretty simple the problem occurs because the files you're trying to transfer is larger than four gigabytes and your usb flash drive or your external drive that you're using is uh, set to fat32 and that is the problem you're going to face so let me quickly show you my drive here this is an external drive if i zoom in here you'll see the file system is set to FAT32. That means there's a limitation of four gigabytes of a file transfer size that you can use. You can't use anything bigger than that or larger than that. And the problem is I was trying to send over a file which was larger than four gigabytes. So now we need to convert this to NTFS, which will allow us to copy those files across. So we can use the IOMI NTFS to FAT32 converter. There's other ways of doing it, but this makes it really easy and simple to do. And the good thing about this, you can either do FAT32 to NTFS or NTFS to FAT32, and it will convert those files over and it won't lose your data. So you're not going to lose any sort of data on those drives. So go into the software, install it onto your system. Pretty straightforward. And go ahead and we're going to quickly install this here. So let me click OK here and click Next. And once we click next, we can click install and click finish. And now we need to open up the application. So let's go ahead and open this up. And you can now see we've got NTFS to FAT32 or FAT32 to NTFS. We want to do the FAT32 to NTFS. Click next. And what this is going to do is allow us to convert this over. So I'm going to select my drive that is FAT32 here and click next here. And uh, what we're going to do is proceed here. And he says, are you sure you want to execute this? I'll do. And I'm just going to click next here and let this go. Now you see there's an error here, error in FAT file system. So that means there's a problem with that drive. So what I'm going to quickly do is show you how to quickly rectify that. And then we can go back into NTFS to FAT32 converter and fix that. So let me click finish here. And what I'm going to do is close this application off. And then we can take a look at the actual drive itself. It's probably got errors on the drive that need to be checked. So right click on the drive here and I'm going to go to properties. Inside here, we've got an option to go to tools. Let me quickly drop some of these boxes off at the background so you can see. I'm going to go to tools here and go check. And you can see here repair drive. It's telling me there's an issue with the drive. They found problems. So I can click on repair drive and this will scan the drive and repair any sort of issues with that drive. As long as the drive's not uh, in bad health and you've got bad sectors on the drive, then it should be okay. And it should be able to rectify those problems. You can see your drive was successfully repaired. I can click close now. I can now go back to our software and open this up and try again. So go FAT32 to NTFS again, click next, select the drive that you've got here, click next again and click proceed. When I proceed, it says you sure you want to execute. Say yes here, and you can now see a bunch of code going up on the screen. Don't worry about that, it's just going to convert this over for us. And basically, we've just got to be patient here. And eventually, what will happen is we will get a message coming up saying successful converting to NTFS. That's now done. We can now close off this program and say yes here to close it off. Now, you can literally use a, a command prompt to do this as well. I thought I'd use this program because it's a lot easier for people to get a grasp on. You can see here we've got NTFS file system on our drive now and all our data is intact and on that drive. Now you'll probably see here when I copy this file over, it will go over no problems at all. And that's because we've quickly resolved the uh, file is too large for the destination uh, file system. So let's quickly go back to our file that we want to copy across here. Let me quickly copy this or cut it either way and paste it onto that drive. And it should now go over just like so, whereas it was uh, getting blocked before because of the restrictions of FAT32 and the four gigabyte file size restriction there. 
So that's pretty much it. That file has now gone across and we've resolved that issue. Very basic sort of video, but it can stump people a little bit if you don't understand what FAT32 and NTFS is and things like that. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I hope this video resolves your problem. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.